Our first example is called um, NAPSA problem. So imagine you're gonna rub a bank. All you, need, all you have is a knapsack with some weight, okay, the capacity. And um, you get in the bank, uh, there are like five items uh, in a bank, some coins, different um, coins, with different weight and value. And um, there's some diamond ring and some gold um, bricks. Okay, for this problem, we have some input. Uh, input is a set of items and each with a weight and value. Okay, the digital variable here is which item to put into the knapsack, right? Whether to put this uh, first coin in knapsack or not, okay? Our object here is um, we want this total value in the backpack to be as much as possible, okay? And we have to follow some constraints. The total, va uh, total weight of this item should less or equals to the capacity, okay? So in order to build our mass model, we declare some um, set in the beginning. So a set I with all the items, go break ring, earn coin one, coin two, okay? And, um, and then we, uh, we defined the parameter for each I in item. Uh, we have weight for each item and value for each item and the capacity for the knapsack, okay? The decision variable here is, hey, for each item xi in the set, whether we take um, this item or not, a yes or no question, okay? So go and objective here is to maximize the overall value of select items, okay? Basically is represent as x1, on times value of one, if we take x1, okay? And plus until uh, x5 times uh, v5. And the mass expression is um, sum over xi times um, vi. And the capacity constraint is um, sum over all the constraints for all the items. And this has to be a, a smaller, uh, less or equals to uh, capacity of the knapsack. Right now, this is the, the uh, mass expression of um, this constraint. So, in, in order to uh, write this in Python, we call the library, and um, and then we um, define the weight and value, which is the parameters here using dictionary, and we set set up the capacity parameters. And then we first um, create a concrete model called M. And then we initialize um, the set, which is the key values, um, keys of um, the value or the weight because they're the same, okay? We just want to retrieve the go brick ring one, earn coin one and coin two. Make sense? And um, now we're gonna define a variable. The way we define variable is to use the VAR here. And uh, because the variable is um, in, uh, has index, so in this case actually um, is indexed by the what? By the items, right? Is it like index domain. For each item we have a variable called, called m.x, right? And domain here is binary, yes or no. And then we can declare the objective here, which is using a objective function here and use the expression function here. Um, you want to sum over the value um, i times the decision variable x for i in odd items. And the sense here is to uh, maximize. Right, we want the, the, the maximum value of the item put into the knapsack. And then we can also define um, the constraint by creating a um, the, uh, function outside of this expression, okay?
And uh, the way we did here is um, expression um, sum over weight times um, mxi and for i in all the items. Okay, so this actually is uh, redundant. We don't have to use this here. So let me run this here. And actually we can um, print the model. So there's a concrete model. Um, we can use PP print. Okay, by using pretty print, we can um, know what um, goes into model. For example, we have items. This is set. You know, we have size um, five. This is each item, and we have uh, five con uh, decision variable x size is five. The upper and lower value, upper bound, lower bound, and this uh, this is our objective, which I written as this. The, the value times the decision variable. And um, then we have the, um, the constraints. The lower in infinity, we have upper bound for this constraint. Okay. And then we can solve the problem using, um, calling um, solve factory using GRPK. And this will return um, the decision variable value, right? Now we can um, print it nicely here. Uh, basically, we all we want is just the um, the mx. Okay, this is yes or no, and the objective here. So, so this is the way um, we implement this um, using PyOMO from Python. Okay, now I'm going to share it with you how to write this in in using R using R's uh, UMPR UMPROI an ROI package. It's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, we define some parameters, okay, 400, and um, number of items is five. We have, you can, um, we can, if we have some max capacity, we can just random generate something, okay? But in this case, um, we define our weights and value, that's this. Now, then we first declare the, the model. This is the MIP model, next integer programming model. And then we add variable xi, i equals one, two, five here. Um, then the type is being um, binary. And then we set objective here, the value times i, and i equals one, two, five. And, uh, the sense is to maximize here, okay? And then we declare the uh, constraint. It was the same uh, similar expression, weight times xi. And the summation of this has to be uh, less or equals to maximum capacity of the knapsack. Then we solve the model using uh, GLPK. Then we can get um, the solution, which is and the x uh, i variable, and, and we can filter um, which item is being um, selected. Okay, that's all for um, the way uh, the the R way to uh, implement this model. All right, thank you so much.